Hello beautiful people and welcome to my art studio. This is the last video for this year 2022. So let's experiment a little with watercolor and gouache. All you need is your watercolors and some white gouache. Please remember to like the video if you got inspired and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. More are to come in the new year. Well, let's get started. I'm Miriam, an artist residing in beautiful Denmark. I do paintings in watercolor, gouache, acrylics, well, pretty much any medium I can lay my hands on. I'm here to help you learn how to make beautiful paintings and learn different skills in mainly watercolor, but also mixed media. Come, join me and let's paint some beautiful paintings together. If I can do it, you can do it. So I will begin this painting with making a background color all over the paper. And I've chosen to do that with a Naples yellow. So I will just use the color all over the background. Um, please excuse the bulky paper. Um, it's the back in my sketchbook of one of the other paintings I've made and it made the paper a little bit bulky. But hopefully that will change once we have painted on this side. And this uh, first layer is strictly watercolor. But after that, um, I will paint with gouache. And if you don't have gouache, um, but perhaps you have a white gouache, that's uh, quite often if you paint with watercolors, you would have a white gouache. You can just mix that into your regular watercolors and then you're painting with gouache. And gouache is a more opaque watercolor and uh, it looks a little bit like acrylic uh, and you can paint almost in the same way as with acrylics um, but it's water suitable and you can reactivate the paint after it's dry with water um, but I like this medium as well I think you can make some beautiful paintings <clears throat> and the good part is that you can paint on top of the paint so that's the, the different part uh, from watercolor. Uh, yeah, but now I will let this dry completely and then I will come back. Now everything is completely dry and I will just show you the colors I have mixed for the sky. This is a ultramarine, or ultramarine blue mixed with some white gouache. This is the navel's yellow mixed with some white gouache. And this is mostly Naples yellow with a little bit of the ultramarine blue and some white gouache. So I'm going to test this out. I have never tried this before since I have regular tubes of gouache paints. So when I heard about this, I thought, well, I have to try it. Uh, why not make a video? <laughs> Go in here with the blue color. And I thin it out with some water. And we have some tree tops here, so. But okay. I just forgot I'm painting with gouache and not watercolors, uh, so you can paint on top of gouache, so that's really great. Don't have to be too careful around the treetops. And uh, gouache is uh, really good for making smaller paintings. I would not recommend it uh, for large paintings like 
a size A3 because they use quite a lot of paint and they only come usually in small tubes so yeah but they they make you can make some great artworks uh, on a smaller scale I would I would suggest because I've painted up to size A4 that was a little bit challenging challenging <laughs> I hope you know what I mean. Chalaking. I used to be so good at speaking English and I actually lived in London for seven months and they told me they the only way they knew I was not born in England was because of my accent. So but a lot of water has <laughs> has run through since, so I had to practice speaking this language. Um, so please bear with me when I mumble sometimes and can't pronounce the word right. And I. Let's go along and dab in the color. I think I will shift now to the Naples yellow. The clean Naples yellow and not the one with the ultramarine blue. Ultra want the colors to be a bit lighter in some places you can just dab in some white, white clean white gouache and then just lighten the color on the paper and this will be a winter scene uh, since we are in the middle of winter this will be the last painting before I go on a Christmas holiday. So I thought it should be something other than Christmas. Now I go in with the Naples Yellow mix of Naples Yellow and Ultramarine, and I need some more white in that. And I'm sort of dabbing in the color. We will, I will need some light over here, uh, so I will go in with a clean white, I think, perhaps with a little bit of Naples yellow in it, but This is the ultramarine and Naples yellow mix. And this is the Naples yellow I'm just um, But I think I will have to let this dry before I can continue because now everything is 
quite wet and so we bag the lemon. And now I have mixed some Hansa yellow deep with some white gouache. And I'm going to apply that here as well in the sky. going to mix it on the paper with some white gouache as well. Okay. Next, I will paint in the dark green trees. Um, and I think I will use my Perlene green because that's a quite dark green. If you don't have that color in your watercolor palette, uh, you can mix, I think, perhaps some sap green and some paint gray. That could be a suggestion. Perhaps a little bit of red, um, or maybe it's some blue. <laughs> you have to try it out to figure out. But anyways, you just need a, a dark green color. And so I will go in on all the trees and just make like tree forms um, these are pine trees um, yeah and i kind of just make little dots and allow there to be some light uh, in between the branches and later on i will go in with another color Um, because trees are not normally all the same color all, <laughs> all the way down so so I will do that uh, later on with gouache you kind of work in layers uh, you can do that in watercolors but I think watercolor is best when you, if you can do the job in the first layer, because um, else there's a chance that the paint gets a bit muddy and so on. So, but that's the difference between watercolors and gouache. And if you think that your gouache is drying up a bit, you can just reactivate it with some water. That's really the good thing about gouache compared to acrylics. Because once acrylics is dry, there's nothing else you can do about it. already looking good i think <laughs> and now i will mix um some gouache i will just use this that i have on the plate but i will go in and put some sap green into the mix that will make a lighter green uh, perhaps it's a little bit too light and bright so i will drop in some red paint that will mute it down a bit 
this is much better I'll dab in a little bit more and then I'll go over here and do some more dots And then the horizon out here, that will be a bit dark, so I will grab some of the pillin green again and I will mix it with some white gouache. So now I have a, quite a dark green again. And then I will mix some more white into the paint so it will be lighter when it goes up and even lighter And then I put in some more white gouache, uh, almost white, but a little covered. And I will dab that under tree, Psst, trees, <laughs> because they are snowy. I will go in with a bit darker color here because I think I was missing some darker colors over on this side. And I just dab it in because in between all the branches, this shadow. And once this is dry, it will be a good idea to go in with some Naples yellow as well here in the tree tops uh, where the sun hits because uh, it ref the snow reflects the sky. So we do have some in between, but a little more would be nice as well. Now I need a more pointy brush because I am going to make some tree trunks over here. I will begin with making them with the dark green. And it's a little bit difficult to see. Uh, perhaps the paint is not dry enough. I will give it a go. <laughs> I will just allow that to dry. Then I pick up some of my Naples yellow and white and dab it here on this pad because the sky is reflected on the treetops. Uh, see if it will work out here as well because there's some reflections here. <laughs> oh man. And now I will go in and paint some of, of on the road here. It's a snowy road. I'll just paint in some lines and. I 
will just try out some of the blue uh, on the snow to see how it looks. I can always change it if I think it looks weird. <laughs> but there's also some blue sky. Uh, so that would probably reflect down in the snow as well. But I will just see how this looks. I will go in with some white as well. And I will try and mix it a little bit with the blue so we get a very light blue. Then I will go in with the mix of the blue and the Naples yellow um, and I'll put some of that in on the road as well. And in the middle of the road there's like a little bit of piles of snow so I will tap in some of the blue here and I will go in with some Naples yellow around here it's a little bit too dark so I go in with some white gouache to mix it a bit together And I go in with a dark green here between the tree trunks. Uh, but actually, I think I will put some white on the tree trunks before I put the darker color next to it. Because I could risk that they disappear. So. I will just allow that to dry and then I will come back and darken it up next to the tree trunks. Um, there are some branches over here coming from a tree you can't see so I'm going to try and paint that uh, and it's a darker color so I think I will mix the Naples yellow with the sepia and see how that that works out and I use a very pointy brush to make the branches This is a very dark mix of the Pelin Green and some Paints Grey. And I will just dab that in places. 
So over here. And least but not last, or whatever you say, <laughs> I will go in with some white gouache. Or perhaps you say last least but not last or last but not least <laughs> yeah. I'm really having fun with the <laughs> English language And there you go, I will call this finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it was a little bit different than usual, but um, I thought it could be fun to try out uh, and paint with some white gouache and put it in your watercolors and see what would happen. Uh, oh, I can see I, I need some shadows on the world. So I will just quickly paint those, they come from the trees. Like that. <laughs> Sometimes it's the, it's the little things that just make everything look great. Um, yeah, but I will remove the masking tape and then we can look at the painting. That was it for this year. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless you. Thank you for watching and see you in the new year. Bye.